Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. A little while ago, I promised you guys a Q&A video and then I got so many questions from you about my YouTube journey, how much money I make on YouTube, how did I start, what kind of equipment I use, um, all that kind of stuff. I also had some questions about my private life, about my career path and if I want any more kids and stuff like that, but I'll be answering those questions in a different video because otherwise the video will be way too long. So this is a YouTube related video. I'm going to give you a lot of inside information. I'm going to to tell you the reason why my channel is, is growing very slow. Um, I'm going to show you exactly how much money I earn. Um, yeah, a lot of inside information. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, it'll be me talking a lot, so maybe you need a drink. I took myself a giant cup of tea. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. So before we dive into my actual analytics, let me explain a little bit about my channel and about me. So my name is Lenny. My channel is called Lenny's Love and Chaos. I'm a mom of three. I'm from the Netherlands and I basically share things that I love and chaos. Uh, my channel is literally chaos. I don't have a plan. I don't have a niche. Uh, I'll talk about a niche in a second because that is really important if you want to grow on YouTube. So I don't have a niche. I am just being me on a platform uh, because I missed being in touch with the international community. I found out along the way that I like to create videos, I like to make videos, and I like to interact with people from all kinds of different backgrounds. That is the reason why I am on YouTube. Is it, it is, for me, a way of being creative, a way of being uh, in touch with international world out there, because in the Netherlands, you know, I'm from a very small country, and since I live in the Netherlands, um, I don't speak English a lot anymore. I used to live in Czech Republic. I worked in hospitality industries. I was used to speaking English in French, in German. And since I'm back in the Netherlands, I don't speak English anymore. Sometimes I do it with a friend on the other side of the world. And then I find out that their English improved so, so much and my English was disappearing. So that's why I make videos in English. Um, let's talk a little bit about that niche type of thing. Um, first of all, you need to think when you want to start a YouTube channel, what is your goal? Do you want to be just creative like I am? It's, for me, it's, it's, it's a hobby. My goal is not to generate a huge income. And I'll explain to you in a second how much money I make exactly every month. Uh, but if your goal is to start a YouTube channel and make money out of it to get like a solid income out of YouTube, um, you need to have a niche. You need to stand out on this platform because the competition is immense. Um, so a niche, uh, having a niche means that you make videos for a specific uh, target group. For example, realistic cleaning videos. And when you have a niche channel, your channel only shows, you only make videos for that specific target group. My channel is a bit of everything. I am not a niche type of girl. I have so many things that I like. I have so many interests and I just share what I like to share because it is a hobby for me. And in my way, I'm sharing some inspiration, motivation, um, my thoughts on things. And But it's like not for a specific target group. That is the reason why I grow very slow because when viewers come to my channel, let me, I have 2,400 subscribers. 80% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel because when they come to my channel, they see all this chaos, they don't know what to expect. So they either have to fall in love with my personality, those people subscribe, and if they don't, they don't subscribe and they hop on to another channel, which offers them maybe more of what they're interested in. So if you want to grow quickly, I have channels that started at the same time as I did and they're going through the roof because they have a specific niche um, did I explain already that the word niche is correct? Sometimes I hear talk, people talk about a niche. Uh, the word niche is, is a French word in origin. So it's from the French word se niche. Uh, so it's niche, not niche. Let's, let's make that clear once and for all, because I hate it when I hear people say niche. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, where was I? So if you want to stand out, you need a niche or you need to have a personality that you think people will like in the end. Um, and then you go very slow, like I do. Uh, I'm just being me. If you like what you see, subscribe. Um, subscribing is important anyway, because 
I share a video every week and because I don't have a planning, it is a surprise every week. And when you are subscribed, you get a notification every time I upload a new video and then you see if it's interesting for you, you click on it. If you don't, you just skip it. That is simply how it all works. Uh, subscribing is free, by the way. So if you, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button down below. But I totally understand if you don't feel like you need to subscribe to my channel because my channel is too much of everything. See, that's why you need to drink because I'm talking a lot already. So that is um, regarding the niche thing. If you want to generate an income, you need to find yourself a niche and you need to really push through. You need to upload a video every week or every month. You need to be consistent. Um, and in the beginning, you will grow very, very slow. It took me three months till I reached uh, my first 100 subscribers. That was my first milestone. I was so proud of myself. I had this little community of women from all over the world, mums, um, and I, we were just watching each other's videos and I was checking out how a mom did things in uh, South America, in New Zealand, in England, what they eat, uh, stuff like that. So it was really, for me, it was very nice. And then I started growing faster. And then when I made my Czech videos, um, my channel took off a little bit. I got a lot of views from my Czech videos. And at one point I had 1000 subscribers and people have been watching my videos for more than 4,000 hours. That is called watch time. And when you reach 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time, you can sign up for monetization. Now, monetization means that uh, YouTube basically checks your channel and they and you can apply for putting ads under your videos. And from these ads, you get paid. So my channel was monetized in July last year. I reached my thousand subscribers for hours, 4,000 hours watch time. Um, and since then I've been making money on this platform. How much? I will tell you in a second. Um, let's first jump into another question that I had, and that is what do you need to start a YouTube channel? Well, I started with just my phone. Believe it or not, I just had my iPhone. I filmed everything on my iPhone. I used the app iMovie, I still do. At some point, I bought myself a tripod. I still use the same one right now. It's a simple one, it is quite cheap, so you don't need fancy equipment to start a YouTube channel. Uh, when you grow, uh, you can buy more accessories. Now I have a lot of accessories, but I hardly use them. I have different light, don't use it. I have a microphone. I don't use it. Most of the time I sit in front of the window and I do everything on my phone still. I have a different camera. I don't use it. Um, so the phone is just so handy, convenient, simple, uh, blah, 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 that. Yeah, so I started a project on my iPhone. I recently bought a MacBook Air. You don't need a MacBook Pro, only if you want to make like 4K videos, maybe then you need a Pro, but the Air uh, is, is great, MacBook Air. And what I like about this is that I can start a project on my phone and I'm very handy and fast with the iMovie app. And then when I want a more sophisticated video, I just drop it and I finish it off here. So there's a lot more options um, on the MacBook uh, at the iMovie app than on the phone. But in general, when you want to start, just use your iPhone or your other phone. It'll be great, it will work fine. And once you grow, you can buy more accessories. Um, but first you need to try whether you like it or not. So maybe the next thing that I will buy when my channel is growing a bit more, um, that will be a better microphone. Yeah, having that said, um, let me see. We talked about my equipment, we talked about growing slow, niche, how I started, why I started. Yeah, then now let's move on to the actual analytics because I know a lot of you guys are so curious about how much money I make. So I have 2,420 subscribers right now. A little over 100 videos that I made. 100 videos, that is actually a lot. Um, so it was a lot of work, a lot of effort. Uh, so you really need to be very passionate about making YouTube videos because it takes a while before it generates income. And I started, uh, since the beginning, my videos have been shown to 2,100,000 people. So that is how much my video was pushed out, but the actual amount of people that clicked on the video is 172,000. 
So that means I have not everyone clicks on my video. That means maybe my thumbnail is not good enough or my subject is not interesting enough or um, yeah, something like that. So I have a click through rate of 4.9%. So four, almost 5% of the people click on my thumbnail when they get the video showed to them. So my most successful video is how to wear a silk square size scarf that um, has the best views, uh, the most subscribe, no, not the most subscribers. My most subscribers are check. The actual money I earn from a thousand check views is much lower than the amount of money I get for a thousand American views um, or a thousand Dutch views. So it depends really um, where people are from. The check videos, they generate like hardly anything. So since the beginning, I made a total revenue of 365 euros for all my more than 100 videos in total. That is not a lot of money. Every month I have 11,000 views and I earn 50 euros per month with that amount of views. Probably, I think a lot of you guys are shocked because you expected that I would earn a lot more money, but I don't. That's it. I get 50 euros per month with 11,000 views. Should you start a YouTube channel anyway? You should. If you're passionate, if you want to do it, just do it. You don't need fancy equipment. You don't need to worry about what other people think because you cannot influence what they think. You should not care about what other people think. If you're passionate about doing something like this, just do it. And there's also a very nice side effect because I'm getting a lot of stuff sent to me uh, for free. I get companies that are interested in working with me. I have a lot of jewelry brands who want to work with me, but I have to be a little bit picky because I don't want to throw out all this sponsored stuff uh, to you guys because I think, you know, that's very annoying. Um, I choose the companies that I think that I like myself. For example, I work with Mapiful. I work with the company that, where the big painting there in the back is from. Uh, I have a discount deal from them. So I also try to negotiate discount deals for you. So when I buy something um, in a company or like I do a bigger purchase, I'm like, hey, I have a YouTube channel. I can show you a product, but is there anything you can offer for my viewers? So I want you to profit a little bit from my journey and from my grow as well because we're in this together i make videos for you you watch my videos and then yeah we grow together that was the way i think uh, it should work um so yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any more questions don't hesitate to ask them down below in the comment section um, if you enjoyed the video give it a big thumbs up if you haven't subscribed subscribe now and then i hope to see you next week on wednesday i upload a new video i hope to see you then take care thanks for watching bye bye